Eagle. And as you can see by the excavating equipment and everything, they're getting ready to pave this street. And you can see the houses that are around there. Hey, there's a Jeep like mine with the top down. Ooh. That's what my Jeep looks like. The Jeep people. This is a nice street. It dead ends. You're actually really close to the end of the street. That is looking over towards Perch. Actually, that's Marlin. Perch is a block down. That's Marlin. And you look around. This is what the neighborhood looks like. This is your neighbor. And they have a fully fenced in yard with like a little house thing in the back for the kids and then they have a yard building in the back. This is looking down the side yard and the people in the back. You still have a nice little private area in the back. We'll walk around the back in a minute. That's the front of the house. That's looking down the street from the front. And this is looking at the front of the house. It's pretty. This is floor plenty like. And now we're going to walk into the front door. This is the 2554. This is the Kirkstone. You walk in the front door. And it's got a tile entryway. It's white tile. And you have the French doors. You like, you like you like. And that's where you can put your fireplace. It's got that back bedroom. I don't think it has a third full bath, but I, th I don't think that's an issue. There's your office. You can put French doors on. Nice arched windows, looking out the front door. This is your formal dining. Nice fixtures. They're not too bad in this house. You can come over here. And there's the kitchen looking from this way. We'll go down the hallway first. Let's go look at this back. I think this one has a bigger patio since it doesn't have this extra third full bath. Oh, it does have the bath. And that's vinyl. That's the door that goes outside, so the patio is the same in this one. Different uh, for mica, different cabinets. They're kind of whitewashed. They're not pink. Uh, and that's the guest bedroom. This is looking out the backyard. So you have a nice natural buffer in the back, so you could fence in. Plenty of room for a pool. There's your neighbor's trampoline, so they obviously have children. And the neighbors in the back aren't too shabby either. Nice homes. And they have a garden over there. They're growing tomatoes and peppers, it looks like. Okay, let's go over to the other smaller bedrooms. This is looking into the kitchen and the eat-in area. This is looking out the back door. This is looking out the front door. This is looking in the front bedroom. Huge bedroom. This is definitely for your older daughter with a walk-in closet. And then over here. Don't let her hear that I said that. Uh, you come over here. This is a nice size closet as well. That's looking out to your neighbors. And this is the hall bath. Nice high counters. Transom window. Vinyl. And we'll walk over towards the kitchen this way. Eat an area. Pantry. And there's your kitchen. It's got Corian Island. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. I think my hand's starting to shake holding this button down. And that's looking out through the dining room. This is looking into the laundry with a closet. Into the garage. You know what the garage looks like with the water heater. This is linen in the hall. Big linen closet. And it's got a jetted tub. That was the access panel. This one has a slider over here coming from the master. The other one has... Ooh, there had somebody was over here having a party. We're gonna have to tell them about that. Excuse the mess. They ripped the screens down too. Not good. Hmm. Already not like in the side of the neighborhood, but that's okay. I didn't say that. It's a, actually a, a good part of the neighborhood. Nice cabinets after all. This walk-in closet. It's kind of dark, but you can get the idea. And then the other walk-in closet. And there's no electricity in this one, so I can't turn any lights on. Sorry. And that's it for... in. This is not Indian. This is Eagle. That's it for Eagle. Eagle.